Ford admits to gas mileage blunders, the summer of recalls continues, and we help you find the car you should really drive. It's the week in reverse, right here at The Car Connection. It was an embarrassing week for Ford Motor Company. The automaker confessed to making a blunder in calculating fuel economy on several of its small cars and hybrids. Owners of the Fusion and MKZ hybrids, the C-Max and the Fiesta will get cash payments of up to $1,050 from Ford as a make-good on lower observed fuel economy. GM announced another round of recalls this week, including nearly 465,000 Camaros for an issue similar to the company's ignition switch problems. A huge recall of more than 844,000 Toyota, Lexus, and Pontiac models going back 10 years or more is aimed at fixing flawed airbag components. This was a big week for Tesla Motors in the news, as the California company is finally on the up and up for sales in New Jersey. Then CEO Elon Musk made a radical move, giving other automakers free license to use Tesla's charging patents, so long as those automakers agreed to charging electric cars for free. What car should you really drive? Anyone and everyone who drives probably asks themselves this question at some point. We think you'll get some amusement and possibly some insight out of our new survey tool, which figures out if you're a Tesla kind of guy, a Mustang gal, or maybe an F-150 fan. It's not really summer yet, but it's already the time of year when new models are announced almost daily. The redesigned BMW's X6 comes this fall, as does a new five-dorm version of the Mini Cooper. We also have the full story on the first new Alfa Romeo in decades, the turbocharged twin-clutch Alfa 4C sports car. And finally this week, the king of the hill gets more power. GM's drops a new performance figures for its upcoming Chevrolet Corvette Z06, and at 650 horsepower, it's the automaker's most powerful car ever.